What's going on everybody? Paul here coming at you with your crypto coffee update for Wednesday, February 14th and Thursday, February 15th. Let's go ahead and kick it off with your news bite. Today we have an article that's very much related to our last news bite where we explored some of the more sinister elements of government and what potential role these entities could have in the future market. Well, Coinbase and six other major cryptocurrency entities have launched a private regulatory body that seeks to establish and enforce industry standards voluntarily across major industry players. Citing the uncertain nature of government regulators in the face of brand new financial technology, the entity known as Crypto UK seeks to establish precedents that might later be used as, quote, code of conduct that might act as a blueprint for future legislation in the UK and perhaps the world, end quote. No word from the UK government yet as to whether or not this intent will be viewed with thankfulness or scorn, but either way, the initiative to establish this body for the benefit of all users and the industry as a whole demonstrates the capacity of emerging industries to self-regulate thanks to the decentralized nature of the technology on which they're based. Not only is this a reflection of the larger shift in sentiment towards voluntary association and free enterprise, but also serves to highlight the archaically slow and wasteful nature of government. So far, under the eyes of the state, the crypto community has matured steadily and at an ever-quickening pace, with governments having little real efficacy over the space. Uh, the question is now, will these voluntary organizations serve as more egg on the face of government bodies as crypto continues its historic rise? It is to be determined, but the future holds the answers. That wraps up today's news bite. Let's go ahead and move on into February 14th, Wednesday of your crypto coffee update. WePower will be having a meetup in Melbourne, Australia. Fidencia X will be at the Insurance Innovators Conference over in Jakarta, Indonesia. BitBay is launching the mobile wallet version of their app. Clearpoll is launching an alpha version of their wallet as well. Rebellious Token is going to be having a token burn. There is a new scam going around, everyone, called Lend Connect. Apparently, they're launching their own exchange. You may remember BitConnect. Uh, I have a video about it. You could go check that out on our channel. Uh, it's similar name, at least, Lend Connect, BitConnect, and they're offering the same unrealistic returns. So. Uh, you can t keep an eye on it if you want, but in my opinion, absolute scam, returns are mathematically impossible. Moving on, Cobenhood is having a few listings today of Bread Token and Titanium Blockchain. Electronium will be listed on the next exchange, and BitJob will be listed on QRyptos. That's it for Wednesday, February 14th. Let's go ahead into Thursday, February 15th. Decred is having a meetup in Amsterdam. NEM will be having their meetup in Bogota, Colombia. Publica will be in San Francisco for the San Francisco Writers Conference. Token as a Service and Rivets Coin will be at the D10 Conference in Silicon Valley, US. Bitcoin Gold is officially sponsoring the 2008 Case It competition, in which 16 universities from 9 countries will come together to draft a kind of business plan to give the next generation practice in coming up with legitimate business solutions for future problems. I think that's pretty cool. Bitdegree is having their token distribution today. Roulette Token is partnering with SmartPlay, so that's pretty cool. They're heading over to Hong Kong to finalize some of the paperwork. Adelphoi token is swapping from the NXT blockchain to the Ethereum blockchain. Neutron is having a, quote, marketing boost going on. Now, I took a look at this project just because I like to take a look at anything new that comes across my desk, and in the GitHub, this token hasn't had any work done since mid-December, and in the total of December, there were only five commits. So, so far in the last two and a half months, this team has committed five commits to their GitHub. So there's Neutron for you. I think they might need a little bit more than just a marketing boost. Just my two cents. Next up, Bounty OX is launching the Alpha 2.0 version of their software. Coindash is kicking off a new platform. Now there was no specific date for this one. It said mid-February and the website was a little slow as well, which was strange. But either way, Coindash, new platform, could be happening today. Again, it just said mid-February. Next up, Lux is having a smart contract and SegWit kickoff. Again, no date on this one either, just a little 
uh, progress bar said 55% done. However, I saw this in multiple sources, so potentially Lux is launching their smart contract and their SegWit systems today, uh, but that is tenuous, so that can launch today or another day in the near future. ABJ Coin will be on the Naira exchange and a brand new exchange, Coinfield, is launching today. They're going to be listing coins such as Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum to start off with many more to come apparently. And that wraps it up for your Crypto Coffee update. Thanks so much for watching as usual. All the links are below down in the description along with a link to our Discord. We'd love to have your input and to our Twitter. You should follow us on there. Again, thanks for everything. Like, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys next time.